What do you mean? You, had a, you just have the 18, um, just the trailers, not a rig? What are you talking about? Like 18 wheels? No, I don't have, uh, those are just trailers, dude. Those are trailers to store stuff in. All right, what's up? This is Pete over at SWRC. Now, we're working on our Mustang today. We got a customer with us that owns a car, McGee. He's a little testy and a little upset because we're not working on his car. I know you're upset, dude. I know you're, you're anxious and, you know, you want to get this car on the road. I know that, you know? Are you? But the thing is, can I leave this thing here in a million pieces like this? Can I do that? It's not fair. We have got to get this done, and then I'm on top of your car like white on rice. Have you ever heard that saying, white on rice? Yeah. Do they say that out in Dubai? If they say it over here, it doesn't work. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what okay. you say. Okay, I see what you said. So you're telling me that it doesn't work over here. It doesn't fucking work anywhere here. <laughs> okay, but, just a fucking city, you know? but you got your motor rebuilt. Yeah, people smoke. Let's go look at your motor. You want to go look at your brand new motor? Yeah, that's good. That's Let's good. go check out Nader's motor. You know, we're working on the Mustang, but hey, Nader's a, a customer too. Mr. Dubai guy is here. Let's check out the motor on the Carmagia. We just had it rebuilt. Now, what all did they do to it, bud? I think you overhauled it, right? Completely went through the whole thing. And it's the original motor, right? Number matching motor, 40 horse engine. Let's go check out the 40 horse engine on the Volkswagen, then we'll get back on the Mustang. Come on, Nader, let's go, bud. Forget the Mustang, dude. The Mustang is not your friend. Yeah, it's I'm not, not your friend. <laughs> I'm not a Mustang guy. Yeah, dude. he's not your friend, dude. Volkswagen's your friend. Yeah, he is. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. If you want to uncover that, we'll show them what a, uh, a 1960, now here's a 62, am I right, Nader? Yeah. 62, 40 horse. This is a 40 horse Volkswagen engine, completely freshly rebuilt. This is the original engine that we pulled out of the, the vehicle. Uh, go into the videos and watch that. You will be amazed that he literally actually started this car up and drove it uh, after sitting for what, 20 years? 25 years. Set for 25 years and they drove it around, started up. But when we tore this motor apart, there were rats living inside the cylinders and uh, it was just stockpiled up with all kinds. Of, I couldn't believe that Nader got it running. So, he, what did William do to it? Let's see, he, he completely rebuilt the heads, brand new, right? All right, so he rebuilt the heads on it. And on your particular engine, one of the cylinders was different, dude. Do you remember that? Yeah. So what William did is he found a 40 horse cylinder and he also did you a square by balancing your pistons. All right. So all the pistons on your motor are, now they're not precisely balanced, but they're balanced enough where it's going to even run smoother than it did before. You understand what I'm saying? This motor here is all original. Now when I say original, I'm talking about the, the line bore, all right? This motor has never been line bored. He used standard uh, size fucking uh, bearings on it for the crankshaft. And on a 40 horse motor versus a 1600, do you know what's different? What is that? Do you know what's different inside that engine from a 40 horse versus a 1600? No. Okay. The camshaft inside that engine doesn't have any bearings. Right. It just rides straight on the case. All right. So he even said that that was in mint condition, bud. So the motor that you've got here is very, very clean and 100% all factory original now. Thank you to William, the motor guy. What's up? No, he didn't put no oil in it, dude. Yeah. Okay. We don't put oil in it until we get it running. So are you happy with your motor at least, Nader? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go show him your motor parts that we refinished and we sandblasted and, uh, you know, painstakingly refinished. Brand new, better than brand new. Would you say that the engine parts that we painted are better than brand new? Yeah. So as Nader closes up his motor for uh, later usage, 
we look at the heater boxes here. This is a heater box. This is where Volkswagens get heat from their car. They uh, take the heat into the box area right here. This is actually an exhaust pipe. And then a flapper opens up to uh, let the heat go into the car out of this tube right here. So that's our heater boxes. And then if you look at the detail of the restoration of this job, it's very, it's really amazing that this is coming out that nice. Uh, we had this all sandblasted. All the sheet metal for the engine was sandblasted. And then I used a very, very high-tech acrylic enamel base paint, which really made it look better than brand new. And we're also going with color correct engine paint as well. This is his intake manifold. You can see that it's painted to the color correct gray that uh, the factory of Germany Volkswagen would have done back then. What's up, Nader? Oh, how much? Looks good. How's it look, bud? It's awesome. It'll look a lot better when it's running and driving and out of my shop, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Now, you know, when I get done with it, you still got to take it and to your house and work on it. Yeah. Is that what you're excited about? So you got something to do at home? Yep. What's up, bud? What's going on? Oh, we'll yeah. probably have to get those sandblasted to literally make them perfect. Yeah, and then you'll paint them. We'll paint and then we paint them the same color as the car. Yes, exactly, bud. Just like the car would be. So your car's in line, Nader. Don't get mad about the Mustang. We got to get the Mustang taken care of. And then your car's next, dude. All right. All right. We're going to be doing body work. It's already stripped down to metal. Uh, we've gutted the car out. Once we get all the body work done, we're going to remove the body, am I right? Yeah. And then we're going to go down to the road to do the next stage. Let's get in body work and let's get in primer before anything else, bud. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's get over there on the Mustang, or you can stay here and look at your car. I'm going to go on the Mustang, and you just look at your car and uh, enjoy it. All right? All right. All right. You know, I try to please everybody that walks into my shop. I try to do the best I can. I work seven days a fucking week over here. And I try to make a living as well. Uh, I have become a one-man operation. That's the way I want it. That's the way it's going to stay for a while anyway. And I'm not fucking hiring anybody. So people are going to have to wait in line. If they want a nice, clean, factory job that my friend Pete can give you, you have to wait in line for something like that. This is not an Earl Shives. This is not Mako Paint and Body. If that's the job you're looking for, then fucking go there. Go there and get that job. <laughs> So if we look right here, we have actually got our front suspension area, engine compartment, sheet metal. Uh, ready to go ahead and install on the car. Let me go get many. I got to get a couple nuts and bolts. We're going to line that thing up. We're going to see how it looks on there. And uh, hopefully it's going to line up perfect. The next thing we got to do, we finally got the hinges for the door. We're going to go ahead and put brand new hinges on that door. So we're going to go ahead and hang the door as well. If everything lines up and it all looks like a go, it's time to start welding up and get the motherfucker down the road so we can get on the Volkswagen that Nader is painstakingly waiting for. Let me go get Minnie and uh, get this motherfucker mounted on the vehicle. Supervisor. 
Okay. I think I would have known if something was going to mess Well, I was just double checking, man. Okay, can you go ahead and push it in? Come on, Nader. Come on. Push, push, push. Okay. Jack it up. Okay, hold it right there. Okay, now if you can jack it up a little more. There you go. Get it up higher. A little higher. Yours is going to wrap around that side over there, Nader. All right, push. Okay, higher. See how it's going to wrap around that lip yeah, there? That. Is that the highest it's going? Son of a bitch. Push it, Minnie. Push. They just hold it right there. Come over here and hold it with Nader. Hold on now. We got a little situation. Right, I'll find out. Motherfucker. Just a little slide to come down in. Alright, look. You gotta put that block under there when me and Nato lift that up. Okay, Nato, lift it up by the wood right here. She's gonna put that block underneath this one. Ready? Yep. Okay, now, let it down, Benny. Slowly. Don't bend it, buddy. It'll be all right. There you go. Come on. Come on. Hold it. That didn't fucking work. Right, let's lift it back up there. Mini, you need to put the wood in there. You ready? Yeah. check it out and see what we got and what problems we just ran into as we got done putting the front end on the car. So we made our factory jig, we set our factory jig up, we got our core support installed with screws, and we also got our front end installed with the jig that we made. Now we know that this is factory original and this is precisely how it came off the vehicle, but if you look right there, that is not going to cut it. That looks like shit right there. That gap is so fucking big. That's about an inch gap. Wouldn't you say, Nader? Yeah. That's about a fucking inch. Uh, over here, we got about a three-quarter inch gap. So, we got to figure that out and figure out what we're going to do to uh, solve that fucking problem. But if we come down here where our frame rail actually meets the firewall, you can see that that's nice and tight up against there and fits where it's supposed to be perfect. So it's another complication we ran into, another situation that says, what the fuck are we going to do? All I can tell you is we're going to have to do something because this has got to be on precisely right. And if it's not, it will never be right. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. We'll be back working on the Mustang and figuring it out as we go.
just want to tell y'all out there, DIY Auto School is the place to be for all you blue collar American son of a bitch and bastards to click on that to subscribe button and do it right. Subscribe now and be a winner in life at DIY Auto School. My friend Pete's gonna show you how to do it. My friend Pete is gonna take you through step one, two, three, all the way up until the end. Don't let the big let boy the big stick, boy it, in stick your ass. it in your ass. Take it that take finger, it that finger, bam it, bam it. Till the son of a bitch won't come, bitch out, won't no come out no more. Do it yourself. Auto school's gonna teach you how to do it, and be proud of what the hell you do. Subscribe on that little button up there in that corner and make yourself feel proud that you say, I can do it right. This is Sam Slam straight out of Miami, and I'm telling you to get her done and get her done right.